This is me covering up a dust jacket with um, the cover liner that I can get from Walmart. It's for the inside of fridges, so if your fridge is dirty, you can just peel that off. And it's honestly, it's pretty cheap. You can get it at Walmart. I'll put the link. I cover it up with the I cover the dust jacket with it because if you handle the dust jacket a lot the ink will start coming off onto your fingers so I figured I can cover it and it will stay like that and it just it makes things easier so I'm gonna cut it I'm putting about like an inch or so around all four parts cut 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 very not straight making it so it's not so curly uh my sister is helping me because this is hard to do by yourself okay so remember the shiny side goes up we almost messed up but the shiny side goes up the easiest way to do this I found either is with two people or you go one side to the other. We use, I use my bone folder to make sure I don't have any bubbles because it's very easy to have bubbles in this. So lining it up so it has enough room on each side. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine never is. It's always somehow crooked. Starting at the corner, all the way to the side, bone folder. Okay. Just folding the liner over so we can put the plastic. Getting out all the bubbles. And as you keep going, you can stick it down just pull that out as you go about like an inch or so at each time or less than an inch sorry you can't really see i'm about to move it we are just making sure we get don't have any bubbles in it you can see me pulling it a little bit more found that this is just the best way to be able to cover the dust jackets and keep them I want to say fresh but it's not fresh keep them in pristine condition as soon as I get them home from getting printed so these dust jackets are for the zombie apocalypse books for Germani. Um I designed these if you're ever interested I design a lot of dust jackets if you need help just let me know I have two other videos on YouTube about it um, it's in my account. So here we are, just continue, no bubbles. This is about 19 by nine. So I go and I ask for the poster board as the size I want and I go home and I cut it myself because usually they mess it up because they don't know what it's for. Okay, so it's always good to do the top and the top and bottom first, cutting the, the corners. I'm pretty much cutting close to the paper, which is easier. Okay, start putting it down slowly, getting the bubbles out. Bone folder is your best friend, guys. Bone folder is your best friend. This one's plastic. It's not actually bone. They're cheaper. Plus, I hear bone molds a little bit. So, I go with plastic.
continue to fold. Almost forgot I needed to do the top and bottom first. Here am I messing up. For some reason, I am just stupid, so. I go for the side. I forget I have to cut the corners again. Do as I say, not as I do. So it's pretty easy to peel up if you mess up. You just gotta be careful because it will take ink off and it might tear it. So you just gotta be super careful, but luckily this stuff's pretty easy to handle. If you're interested in using the stuff jacket, I can always send it to you. You have to let me know the measurements of your book. Um, this one is 19 by 9. Uh, that's one of the books I already did. I'm using it as the template to uh, fold the stuff jacket. So line it up to the spine, making sure everything fits. Fold it over. Here I realize at the front I need to make it so it's more on that side, so taking it off real quick. There we go. So that the the, the words aren't onto the front, so refolding real quick. That's better. So that's the book. I go through and I make real crease these so that they stay where I want them. Putting it back on and gonna do the other side. Creasing it. Okay, there's the book. The front. The enter the what's about the reviews and the about me for the the 